So I just heard that Lineage OS official 15.1 for Redmi Note 5 Pro is out. Well, I just flashed it. And today in this video, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick look on the first build of the Redmi Note 5 Pro's Lineage OS 15.1. Let me know in the comments down below that if you wanna see a full review on it. Note that my SIM card is not in this device, so I'll just test the Vaulty and stuff later on on the review. So the stock launcher over here is Trebuchet Launcher, which does have Google Now card to the left. You can change the icon grid size, change the icon pack if you want to. And here are the in-depth launcher settings if you want to see that. And here is the about section for you based on Android 8.1 Oreo of course. 17 July 2018 build. By tapping on it several times over here you get the Lineage OS logo. And July 5th 2018 security patch which is the latest one. Here is the stock kernel name if you want that. SE Linux is enforcing. And on the top we have the Lineage OS updater. From where you should be checking the updates when the newer builds are available. Now let's go back inside gestures. You will see this double tap power button to jump to camera option which is the AOSP gesture. Now we have some status bar customizations up here but let me tell you they are not a lot. Like restriction remix or something. From quick pull down you can enable from which side you want it to. Next you have this network traffic indicator and you can even set it to make a bit or make a byte or whatever you want to. And customize it further to just the upload or download or both. And in system icons you get the icons like headset, bluetooth etc. From here. We get the status bar brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar option which has been working super fine. Next from buttons we have these navigation button customizations. From layout you can set them to be compact or spread out normally. And you can even revert them if you are not used to the opposite side recents and back key. And you can add an extra left or right button if you want that. You can change the home button long press action and by the way guys the google assistant is working fine by long pressing the home button and you do get the google lens too here. We have home button double tap action here but the customization options are pretty minimal to be honest. Of course we have recent button long press actions too. But you cannot set it for things like taking a screenshot I guess. Inside power menu we don't get the advanced reboot option but we do get screenshot option over here. But if you want to get the advanced reboot I think you have to mess around in developer settings. Now we have long press power button toggle torch which is working fine let me show you. Inside security we have trust so hopefully banking app should be working fine. And I'll be testing all of these things in the full review so stay tuned for that. Now let's jump into the sound settings. From here you can disable the charging sound, the touch sound etc if you feel they are annoying. Next let me show you the display settings. Auto brightness is there and working fine. In live display the night mode is working fine too. And if you enable this rating mode everything becomes grayscale. To explain more the screen becomes black and white. Like a Kindle device so that's cool. If you are into reading stuff on your phone a lot, it will help you. And you can calibrate the screen colors in depth from here. Inside style, we have the option to change the UI color to change it to light or dark. Or you can even set it with the wallpaper or time of the day. And you get these many accent color options. You can enable fully black mode if you want that. And you can set this automatic option up here too. In rotation settings, you do get the full 180 degree rotation option which rotates the screen fully even if you hold the phone upside down. Pretty handy stuff. And we do have the full screen app option from where you can set each apps which aren't compatible with the full 18-9 display to take advantage of the full 18-9 display. We do have ambient display option up here. Double tap to wake and double tap to sleep both are present on this ROM. So you can just double tap the status bar to make it sleep and double tap the screen to wake the device when it's locked. And again I'll show you the battery life later on the review. 
because I just flashed it guys and you do get the battery percentage option too from here and in notifications you do get the heads up option and you can disable it which is a good thing. If you look closely you will see the quick settings panel is a little bit transparent and as it's supposed to in Android 8.1. And you can edit quick toggles and add them by just one tapping. And from the toggles too, the live display and stuff is working super fine here so no issues regarding toggles. And the stock camera over here is Snapdragon camera app. So don't expect too good of a quality but don't get me wrong, it does get the job done pretty well. Now let me show you the app open up speeds. And in recent apps panel, you get this lock button to keep a particular app in memory and if you want to clear all of the apps, you have to scroll all the way up then you can clear it all. Hope this video gives you a quick and clear idea about the Lineage OS 15.1 official on Redmi Note 5 Pro. As it's the first nightly build, I have to say it feels pretty stable already. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't yet. This is Tito from KDNDX signing off for today and I'll catch you guys later.